Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Daniela. And you are? My name is Nicoleta. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, nice to meet you too. Hello everyone. This is our class. We're going to study English together. Ready? Let's go. Today we're going to talk about greetings, numbers, the time, occupations. Okay, let's go. Greetings. Ways to greet people. There are different ways to greet people. What, we, what you should say depends on the time of the day or the person you are talking to. Let's see. We have formal greeting, which is usually used between grown-ups talking to each other, or when children talk to grown-ups. Just like this. We say good morning when we wake up or meet someone in the morning. When we meet someone during the day. Photo printer. SD card. Good afternoon. My name is Russell. We say good evening when we meet someone in the evening from 7 p.m. up. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. The informal greeting is used between people who know each other very well, like friends or family, or between children who are talking to each other. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Hi. Hi. What's up? Hiya. Howdy. We wouldn't recommend using these with your teachers. Maybe hello. Hello. Hey, oh, catch up, Aki. See, see. Now we are going to revise numbers. If you already know them, it's a good and excellent way to revise them. But if you do not know them, it's a good opportunity to learn them. Now let's begin. Zero. Native people usually pronounce it O, especially in phone numbers. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, let's pay attention to teens. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Once again. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. The T is used for um, the tense 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. One of the most common mistakes is between 12 and 20. A lot of students mix them up. And you should also pay attention to 40. 40 is written without a U, but 14 has a U and 4 the same. Now, the numbers between 20 and 30 have a dash, a hyphen, or what we call in Romanian, liniuță, between the tens and the rest of the number. So, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. It's the same with the 30s. 31, 32, 33, 
34, 35, and so on. Some other examples. 45, 56, 67, 78, 89. Now, how do we say 39 in English? Mm, 39. Good job. How do we say 78? Excellent. How do we say 52? Good job. How do we say 96? 96. Excellent. How old are they? Let's say how we use numbers. He is 35 years old. She is 48 years old. She is 21 years old. He is 59 years old. Now, osuta in English is a hundred, one hundred. Do sute, two hundred. Tre sute, three hundred. Shase sute, six hundred. Op sute, eight hundred. If we add to the hundreds, the tens, num the numbers might sound like this. Tre sute, doze si uno, three hundred and twenty-one. Cin sute, shaise ci shapte, five hundred and sixty-seven. Shase sute pais prezece, six hundred and forty. O mie, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. But this is only if you want to test your limits. Phone numbers. In English, we say each number individually. We can say the number zero as a letter O or a zero. As I said, natives usually say, uh, pronounce it O. When numbers appear consecutively, we normally use words like double or triple. What's your phone number, Nicoletta? Oh, my phone number. Uh, it's uh, 0236900555. Or we can also say it 0236900555. In England, People usually ask, what's your mobile phone number? But in the USA, people usually ask, what's your cell phone number? In case you need it, here are some emergency service numbers for ambulance, police, fire brigade. In Romania, we call 112. In England, we call 999. And in the USA, we call 911. I think I recognize this one. Yeah, I think he's the most famous president in the world, isn't really? he? Yeah. What's his phone number? Well, I think it's 015592 I think I should write it down, I might need it one day. Who knows? Let's practice some more. I know you can do it. What number is this? That's You're right. right, 79. What number is this? Mm -hmm. It's 43. Yes. Good job. Yes, very good. 68. Okay, 81. Right again. Good. Now, can you do it? 245. You are very good. Now, how much is the TV? It's $329. But wait, it was $395. The next topic we're going to talk about is the time. What's the time? It's time to tell the time. The question we usually ask is, what time is it or what's the time? Let's see. 
when the long or minute hand is at 12, we always say it's a clock. Like in this case, it's one o'clock. When the minute hand moves from 12 to 6, we say it's the number of minutes past the hour. It could be 5 past, 10 past, 25 past. In this case, it's quarter past or it can be half past. Let's see some examples. It's quarter past 10. It's 20 past 7. It's half past 9. Let's move on. When the hand moves from 6 to 12, we say it's the number of minutes to the, the upcoming hour. Like this, 25 to or 22, in this case, quarter to or 10, 5, 2. Some examples are quarter to 1, 25 to 5. Remember, when the hand is at 12, it's a clock. When it's at 3, it's quarter past. When it's at 6, it's half past. And when it's at 9, it's quarter to. Let's play some games. What's the time? What time is it in this picture? It's 20 past 12. Let's see. Yes, you're right. What time is it? It's quarter past 12. Good job. What about now? What time is it? It's 25 to 1. You're right. Well done. What time is it? It's 10 to 1. What about now? What time is it? It's 12 o'clock. When it is 12 o'clock, it can either be midday, if it's during the day, or midnight, if it happens at night. What time is it now? It's half past six. Okay, you're right. One more little game. Which clock shows two o'clock? One, two, or three? I think number two. Yes, perfect. Which? What about 9.30 or half past nine? Still clock number two. Which clock shows quarter past two? It's the second one. Which clock shows quarter to nine? Could it be the one in the middle again? Let's see. Yes, it was that. Okay. Now it's time to focus on jobs and occupations. When we want to know somebody's job, we usually ask, what do you do? What do you do for a living? Or what is your job? Nurse, doctor. She is a nurse. He is a doctor. They work in a hospital. They look after people's health. She is a mechanic. She works in a garage. She repairs car motors. Dancer. They are dancers. They move to the rhythm of the music. Singer. She is a singer. She is a performer who sings. Firefighter. He is a firefighter. He puts out fires. He saves people in danger. Dentist. She is a dentist. She examines and treats people's teeth. Vet. He is a vet. He treats sick and injured animals. Carpenter. He is a carpenter and he makes things from wood. Plumber. He is a plumber. He fits and repairs water systems and pipes. Farmer. He is a farmer. He owns and manages a farm. He raises farm animals and grows fruit and vegetables. Police officers. They are police officers. They are members of a police force. 
Waiter, waitress. He is a waiter. She is a waitress. They are waiters. They work in a restaurant. They serve food and drinks. Scientists. They are scientists. They do scientific research and experiments. Cook, chef. They are cooks. They prepare food for others, often in a restaurant or a cafe. These three are trained cooks. They are chefs. Actress, actor. She is an actress and he is an actor. They act in films or on stage. Makeup artist. She is a makeup artist. She applies cosmetics on people's face. He is a hairdresser. He, is a, uh, he cuts colors and arranges people's hair. Driver. He is a driver. He drives a motor vehicle. If he drives a bus, he's a bus driver. If he drives a taxi, he's a taxi driver. If he drives a lorry, he's a lorry driver. Baker. He is a baker. He bakes bread and cakes. He is a butcher. He cuts animals to be sold as meat. Electrician. He is an electrician. He installs and repairs electrical equipment. Guide dog. It is a guide dog. It guides blind people. Practice makes you perfect. Now, are you ready? Yes, let's go. Let's do it. So, look at the pictures. What are their jobs? Write the number. Dancer, what number is Dancer? Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right, it's number three. What about Chef? Can you say it louder? Okay, you're right again, Chef is number six. Good job. What about dentist? Dentist, uh, yes, number five. Excellent. What about hairdresser? Mm, that's correct, it's number one. Good job. You are really good. Makeup artist. I'm sure you're right, it's number two. What about plumber? Yes, it's number four indeed. And one more exercise. Guess the job. We work in a school. We teach students. We are teachers. Good job. I cut your hair. I work in a saloon. I am a hairdresser. He checks your teeth. He is a dentist. Excellent. She treats sick people. She is a could it be doctor? Yes, I'm sure it's doctor. I drive the car all day. I am a... I'm a driver, obviously. Very good. He repairs your car. He's a... Mechanic. I work in the kitchen of a restaurant. I am a... Yes, there are two words. Chef or... Cook. And the last one... They bring you food in a restaurant. They are, you're right, waiters. waiters. Well done. That's all for now. We hope you enjoyed our lesson. Next time, we will talk about family, countries and nationalities, possessives, question words. Don't forget to join us next time. See you soon. Goodbye. Bye.